Oh, what's up, guys? Back around again to uh, review a DVD this time, and that DVD by the title you can see is this right here, the Global Impact DVD that I just got in the mail yesterday. Um, I remember a couple of guys coming on here like a week or two ago talking about how you shouldn't buy anything from TNA Shop because the price is well, not the price, but the shipping is just out of hand. But I feel that any TNA fan will enjoy this one, so. I had to get it because I did like the one hour special that was on Spike. So I told myself when it came out, regardless of the fact, I was going to get it. And I got it. So let me just give you a quick review of it. I'm not going to give away everything, but just a quick review. Um, the DVD it was split up into like parts. First part, they did like um, pre interviews with a lot of the wrestlers with Kurt Angle, with uh, Devon, with Pete Williams. Uh, Christopher Daniels, so just like a bunch of guys, basically getting their thoughts about you know going to Japan, being a part of uh, Wrestle Kingdom with New Japan, um, talking about past experiences in Japan and what they hope to accomplish and everything. Like um, Christian was like he's excited to uh, be wrestling at Tokyo Dome. Uh, Chris Daniels was talking about holding, I think it was the IWGP Junior Heavyweight or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, holding that belt because a lot of previous great wrestlers have held it. Um, like I said, just giving a little insight of what they thought about you know their trip to Japan and being a part of the Wrestle Kingdom show in the uh, Tokyo Dome. You know, really good segment I thought it was. And then from there it went on to the matches that we didn't get to see on the one hour special on Spike. Um, they started off with the six man tag which included of course like Petey Williams, AJ Styles and Christian. Um, it was a really good match. It started off as your normal six-man tag, and then of course it turned into like a basically a free fall. Um, a couple of good high spots, including with AJ Styles diving over the ropes, like he, well, not like he always does, but you know, just showing I guess Japan what he can do, even though they probably know what he can do. But you know, just giving the people something to cheer about. Um, the match ended with AJ putting. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce the guy's name, but uh putting the guy with the Styles Clash and he ended up getting the win. Um, next match was Christopher Daniels versus Wataro, what does he say his name? Wataro Inoue, that's how he says his name. Um, before the match when Don West and uh, Mike Tanay were doing commentary, they had mentioned the fact that Chris Daniels had gotten fired from TNA and that because they signed this deal before it all happened that he was able to participate so kind of went along with the storylines didn't think it was necessary but it didn't hurt to say it you know um, it was a really good match not your normal X Division style match you may see from him in TNA but it was still a good match a couple of spots here and there but most of all good wrestling is what TNA excels at and I wish they I hope they watch this and understand that this is what they're all about is wrestling Anyway, he ended up losing to uh, in a way, and in a way retained his title. I believe it's the junior heavyweight title. I'm not sure. I forgot when I was watching, but anyway, he retains. The next match is Abyss versus uh, Manabu Nakanishi. <laughs> I got it. Manabu Nakanishi. Um, he's pretty much less a, a big guy, just like a bit. Not as big as Abyss, but. You know, he is a big guy. It turned, I mean, it started out, you know, in the ring, but of course, you know, Biss, he's in the hardcore style. So they went outside, he got the tax, he ended up getting slammed into the tax, which is, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I did that, but, you know, like I said, it's a Biss, so what do you expect from him? Um, he did end up losing the match to uh, Nakanishi. Like I said, it was a decent match. Didn't think the hardcore style was too much, but that's a bit, so I guess that's why they had to put it in there. Then we went to uh, another hardcore match. We went to Team 3D versus uh, uh, Yano and... God, how do you say his name? Makabe and Yano. That's how you say it. Makabe and Yano, um, they were pretty much held as the greatest tag team in Japan, and they were facing Team 3D in a hardcore match. Of course, you know, a hardcore match, you're going to see the, the chairs and you'll see the like, trash cans and everything. I guess they were held not only as the, the best tag team, but also uh, the the best hardcore tag team in Japan. And Steiners wanted to prove that they were the best hardcore team ever 
So they went out there, had a hardcore match. Of course, you got a table spot. Um, ended up with the 3D and the Stein, not Stein, excuse me, Team 3D ended up winning. Like I said, for a hardcore match, it was really good. Don't see why they did it, but like I said, I didn't mind it. And then we went to um, the match for the IWGP tag titles. Steiners versus Tomko and Giant Bernard. This is a really good match. I really didn't care for the interference by Jeff Jarrett. He ended up hitting um, one of the guys from the previous match. Interfered in the match. He hit him with a guitar. I didn't see why it was necessary, but like I said, it didn't hurt the match. Uh, it was a decent match for you know the Steiners going out there. Um, they ended up Steiners ended up losing to Bernard and Tomko. Like I said, it was a good match. I just didn't, I didn't care for the interference by Jeff Jarrett. And then they went to the main event, IWGP. I don't know what it is now. The IWGP title, Kurt Angle versus uh, Yuji Nagata. Everyone saw that on the Spike. Saw that match on the Spike special. Of course, it was a great match. Um, one of the best matches I've seen this year. And... Kurt Angle ended up, uh, like most of you know, Kurt Angle ended up retaining the title. And then from there, they all went into to do their post-interviews, the post-match interviews. And they came off really cocky, which I didn't have a problem with, but, you know, because they did, like they said, we respect all these guys, but, you know, we are the baddest guys in here. Um, Kurt Angle got on the mic with uh, Jeff Jarrett. And they were talking about how is this not the real IWGP title because he beat Brock Lesnar, who beat um, I forgot who Brock Lesnar beat, but the reason they're not, not calling it the real IWGP title is because Brock didn't defend the title for like almost almost a year, so they stripped him of the title or something. And but he still had the belt, and Kurt Angle won that belt, so they're saying that belt is not legit. Of course, Kurt, you know, he went on a, um, a rant about, you know, so I guess they're calling me a paper champion and everything and talking about who he faced in the uh, in the future. Cause I believe he lost that belt a couple of weeks ago. I'm not sure sure who he lost against, but I, I think he did lose it. Um, but like I said, they just did post-match uh, interviews, which came off well. Um, and then from there, they just showed, I guess, the wrestlers in like adapt not adapting because they're only there for like four days being a part of the Japan culture showed Styles and Tomko going out and everything going to like the uh, uh, God what do you call it the temple and everything and they showed like Christian and Tomko and Bernard like you know going out trying like the Japanese food and everything like I said it was really good entertaining to see how the guys did over there in Japan um, overall, I think this is the best TNA production, well, the best production TNA has ever been a part of because this is actually Wrestle Kingdom 2's show that TNA was a part of. So, after seeing this, I definitely want to pick up Wrestle Kingdom 2 to see the entire show because I enjoyed all the matches on here. So, like I said, if you're a TNA fan or if you were a fan of the great wrestling TNA that you don't see today, I would definitely recommend picking this up. Um, very, very good buy. You will not lose all of your money. I promise you that. Instant Class 8 and I'm out.